Okay, hi, my name is Cray, and I'm going to introduce a little background about my topic. My topic covers hybrid cars, um, and right now the gas prices are fluctuating up and down, and people are trying to save money and drive cars that are more efficient. So, my main claim is that buying a hybrid car is a more economical investment than buying a standard motor vehicle. My first that, or supporting claim is that hybrid cars achieve better gas mileage. My second supporting claim is that hybrid cars are financially rewarding. And my third supporting claim is that hybrid cars contribute to a better future for a clean environment. So, my first supporting claim, hybrid cars achieve better gas mileage. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, hybrid cars achieve about twice the fuel economy of conventional vehicles. An example would be that the Toyota Prius Hybrid gets 48 miles per gallon in the city and 45 in the highway. Another example is the Honda Civic Hybrid. It gets 40 in the city and 45 in the highway. And the last example would be the Nissan Altima Hybrid gets 35 in the city and 35 in the highway. Um, also stated in a vehicles technology document from the U.S. Department of Energy, Hybrid vehicles combine the traditional internal combustion engine with an electric mm -hmm. motor. Basically what that means is that their braking systems capture energy as your car is decelerating and they convert it to help power the motor, the vehicle. So the more the car the vehicle runs on electricity, the less gasoline it uses. Since these hybrid cars can achieve about twice the fuel economy of a conventional vehicle, those who have to commute to school, to work, or to wherever it is that they're going on a daily basis have a very effective and efficient mode of transportation to turn to. Hybrid cars are an effective mode of transportation, especially for those who commute daily, and in addition, a hybrid car can go for a farther distance, having to fuel, uh, having less, having to fuel up at a gas station less times, making it a convenience for vacations or long trips. My second supporting claim is hybrid cars are financially rewarding. For hybrid vehicles, the State Energy Alternative Department says that maintenance may even cost less because of decreased wear and tear on the engine and braking system. Consumers who purchase hybrid vehicles may be eligible for federal tax credits. According to the Fuel Econ Economy website, hybrids purchased or placed into service after December 31, 2005 may be eligible for a federal income tax credit of $3,500. This all depends on the weight of your hybrid or the um, miles per gallon that it gets on the highway and, on the, in, and in the city. Um, the California Department of Motor Vehicles states that all hybrids are exempt from having to pass a smog test. Uh, the Air Quality Management District says that they emit less CO2 and they pollute less, so therefore in turn you don't have to get a smog test, which also helps prove that they, the maintenance may cost you less for a hybrid vehicle because you don't have to go in for a smog test, or if it doesn't pass, you can't drive your vehicle. Hybrids, the California, the, my third secondary claim, my supporting claim, is that hybrid cars contribute to a better future for a clean environment. Alexander Karshner, an assistant secretary for the EERE, which is the Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy for the U.S. Department of Energy, signed a memorandum memo <laughs> of understanding on July 7th of last year to work on accelerating commercialization of plug-in hybrid vehicles. According to Karshner, the advancement of clean energy technologies in these hybrid cars, such as plug-in hybrids, will help address the serious challenge of global climate changing while enhancing our country's economic growth and increased energy security. An excerpt taken from this EERE network news said that major corporations are beginning to throw their weight behind the development of plug-in vehicles. For example, Ford Motor Company announced on July 9th that it will team up with Southern California Edison to examine the future of plug-in hybrids in terms of how home and vehicle energy systems will work with the electric grid. In addition, it was also stated in that excerpt that in June, Google.org announced that it would provide $11 million to support plug-in hybrids, and in March, the AQMD, the Air Quality Management District, awarded $2.6 million to Quantum Technologies 
for the conversion of 20 Ford Escape hybrids, hybrids and 10 Toyota Prius hybrids into plug-in hybrids. So, therefore, with all of that being said, I advocate my main claim that buying a hybrid car is a more economical investment than buying a standard motor vehicle, supported by my first supporting claim that hybrids achieve better gas mileage, my second supporting claim that hybrids are, are financially rewarding, and by my third secondary claim that hybrid cars contribute to a better, cleaner future for the environment.